Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a flip through of a custom ordered album. This album measures approximately seven and a half by six and three quarters by four and a half. And the color scheme we went with was a turquoise blue, gray, and she said I could add whatever accent color I wanted. So I went ahead and added silver. I absolutely love the color combination of this album. I thought it turned out beautiful. And this gorgeous image on the front, I purchased from an Etsy seller. I'll be sure to link it down in the description box. She sells this image in several different colors like pink and white, gold. I chose the turquoise color. And to match the outside of the album, I added this beautiful gray Florida de lis in the back. Then I added some silver glitter paper throughout the whole album and on the front here I did pop it up slightly. And then I added that same turquoise color from the little dress. And then again another layer of gold glitter paper and this beautiful sentiment. It says, and so the adventure begins and I added the baby's name to it. I did outline the baby's name in gray, but I used the same turquoise blue that was from the dress um, that I purchased from the Etsy seller. Same with that border there, it's the same color. And I know it's hard to see there, but like I said, I did outline that in gray. I added a silver glitter bow with a gray pearl to the center, outlined the image in that silver bling and this album is a 12 month album it's going to go through the entire first year of the baby's life on the side here i use this gorgeous rosette trim from wild orchid crafts and on the back i have the same paper that's on the front the same light gray fleur-de-lis i added a satin boat for the closure and when you open up the album like I said it does go through the entire first year of the baby's life so every page is going to have a pocket on the right hand side and on the left there's going to be a four by six it's actually four and an eighth by six and an eighth photo mat so the mom can place a four by six photo on every page and that way she can easily milestone the entire first year of the baby's life see how the baby has changed through with the photos and it's a quick and easy keepsake for the mom so on that, I did um, leave everything open so the mom can tuck the photo right behind all that very easily. The welcome here is that same turquoise blue. I did outline it in gray and I added little one. I added some white crystal nouveau drops. I also have some flat back pearls and some wild orchid craft flowers. There's also some white flowers tucked in between those wild orchid crafts. This place photo here, I used the same turquoise blue that's throughout the album. And I did stamp that down on all of them. I do get asked a lot where I purchased my stamp. I don't share that because I was not happy with the seller. It took a few months for me to even receive the stamp. But if you Google place photo here stamp, you'll be able to find lots of sellers that sell them. So on the side here, I designed a bracket edge pocket and I added the word baby love again with the baby's name. Absolutely beautiful name, Zuri Ashara. I believe I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. I added a silver glitter bow with a beautiful teardrop pearl in diamond to the center. And then the pocket, every pocket will have a milestone card. This is the welcome with the baby's name. I did back it on gray cardstock, all of them. Again, like I said, I added the baby's name, absolutely gorgeous name. I also added the birthday, time, weight, height, hospital, doctor, so the mom can quickly fill that out. Here's this cute little tag. It says little miracle backed on gray cardstock. And the mom can add photos to all the pockets as well. So this album will hold a lot of photos. Every single pocket will have a pullout mat. Some pockets will have two mats and others will just have one. It's a bracket edge style that I designed as well. And it's meant for more journaling or larger photos or small photos. That one there is gonna be for the welcome and the other one here is gonna be for the first month. I stamped the number one on it and that both of those just tuck right in the side there. So now this is for month one. So when you pull that side out, that's why the one is facing that way. Here I backed it with some of that beautiful glitter cardstock paper, added the photo mat, some flowers with a turquoise uh, flower, rhinestone in the center. I added some more of that glitter paper with the banners. On this side, I added some beautiful trim into the center. I added some sweetheart blossoms from Wild Orchid Crafts. 
And then here's the milestone card for month one. Again, all of them are backed on cards, gray cardstock, so she can add photos or journaling. And I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I did add some of that glitter paper underneath as well, glitter cardstock. On this side, I, I did back my photo uh, with that same glitter. I added some hearts and the word delightful. Here's month two. And the mom asked me specifically to add a few images. Um, and this is one of them. Absolutely beautiful. So I backed that on gray cardstock. Love how that turned out. Here's the little tag. I added a glitter bow to it. It says I'm kind of a big deal. She can journal on the back of that or just add a date, whatever, or just leave it. Again, the pull-out map for the second month. Here on this side, I added some Wild Orchid Craft chrysanthemums, added some flat back glitter balls to the center, which matched the matting in the back. And here I used a Martha Stewart scalloped edge punch, fancy edge punch. And I uh, did that for both the pocket and the pattern paper, and then added some of the gold, excuse me, some of the silver cardstock rather to that, along with the same bow and uh, pearl embellishment to the center. On this side, here's another one of those beautiful images that I purchased from that Etsy seller, again, using the, in the turquoise. And I made a pull out photo mat. It's going to hold four by six photos. It's an accordion style and it is backed with that glitter cardstock. I have this beautiful sentiment here. And then again, the mom can just add photos to that. And I tied that off with some seam binding. On this side, I added another bracket edge pocket using some of that silver cardstock, glitter cardstock, and a matching bow. I added a pearl to the center. And then here's the milestone card and another image that the mom requested that I use. Absolutely beautiful. Here I added a photo mat and I backed it with that foil silver cardstock and then some more of that silver bling that I have on the front of the album. This bracket edge pocket has the silver paper behind it as well and added little miracle. And then the milestone card and a little baby bottle that I tied off with some seam binding. She can add journaling to the back of that if she'd like. On this side, I have both um, the glitter cardstock. It says Sweet Girl. I back that with that silver foil paper. And behind Sweet is the glitter cardstock. I also added some Sweetheart Blossoms there as well. And this I Born to Sparkle, I foiled it in silver. Absolutely love how that turned out. I added a scalloped edge of that glitter cardstock, a matching bow. And to the center of that, I used an ivory flat back heart from Wild Orchid Crafts. Love how this page turned out. I thought that was so pretty. Again, this would be for months six and seven. This is one of them that holds two of uh, two of the mats. On this side, I backed it with that same turquoise blue, the silver foil paper. And here I added some more of that gorgeous trim. And behind it is that glitter paper. I added some flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts to the center of that trim, another little bow and a um, uh, heart embellishment, excuse me. I added a photo mat along with the milestone card. On this side I used that glitter paper as a photo mat, added the word adorable with the baby's name again, and then another bracket style pocket. Here's another one of those gorgeous images she requested that I use. And behind that bracket pocket, I did add some of that silver glitter paper. So it's just, it's very little, but it ties it all in. On this side, I added a foil mat in silver, the word beautiful, again, left open so the mom can tuck her photo. I added a rosette trim with this beautiful beaded flower from Wild Orchid Crafts to the center. 
And on this side, I added the word blessed. I use some of that glitter cardstock, and then I use some of that same uh, bling trim that I used on the front, added some lace on top of that, and some of that flower trim in the center, along with some flowers and some pearl brads to the center of the chrysanthemums. On this side, she had requested that I use this gorgeous quote by Maya, Maya Angelou, and so I added the glitter cardstock behind it and made another accordion pullout photo mat. I tied it off with some of this gorgeous gray satin trim, and then again, the mom can add photos inside that accordion. And on this side, I did another scalloped edge with that silver glitter cardstock, added some more of the pattern paper, this beautiful sentiment. I also added some silver corners and some flower pearls along with the milestone card. On this side I used more glitter cardstock with some foil paper behind it. And then I added the sentiment Happy Memories with a silver glitter cardstock bow and a beautiful embellishment to the center. Another photo mount in the milestone card. And on this last page, I used the silver foil matting, added another bow to the center of that is a uh, silver embellishment. And then I added some of this crepe paper to the side and gave it a little ruffle to it. The back pocket, I used that same glitter cardstock, added some of that beautiful trim and some more of that bling to the center of that in silver. And then I, I layered a few chrysanthemum flowers and added a rhinestone to the center of that. Love how that turned out. And then to the pocket, there's another photo mat, the milestone card, and this beautiful tag. I did back the tag with some gray cardstock, added a glitter bow with a pearl to the center, and I foiled it. It says, happiness is this. Love how that turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed a peek through this album. More importantly, I hope that the mom loves the album. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day.